love bugs. It's me, Loverly. We are back today with another Sims Medieval video. Um, so I haven't played Sims Medieval in quite a little while, but I decided since it is um, it is the uh, the spooky um, month. It is October. I'm like, what am I trying to say? It's October. I figured we could make a wizard. Um, so hopefully that's the case. Let's see what it takes to place this building. Perfect. So now we built the wizard's tower. I feel like, you know, a wizard is sort of, um, you know, kind of uh, like witches, wizards. They're very much, you know, Halloween themed in my opinion. But yeah, um, so now we need a new wizard. So let's go create a wizard. So I'm just going to be creating a sim right now. I am not going to be playing with them in this part. I just wanted a quick part. Um, we will play with them probably in the next part or we might go back and forth to other players. I'm not sure. Like, I've been so busy. Like, I didn't know what I was going to do today for my Monday video. Because I've just been so ridiculously busy for like, uh, aw, I wish you could have green skin like you could in The Sims 3. Uh, okay, oh well. Um, let's see, what does that do? Ooh, we could make her all hag hag haggard. <laughs> uh, should we make a male or female? I don't know. But anyway, I my vampire series is like taking up all my time on this channel for this month. So I have like all these great ideas of like other builds I want to do, all kinds of like theme stuff. But like I didn't like plan enough. So now I'm like I've only got like a week left pretty much before Halloween, um, like a week and a day. So it's a lot to get done. Like all the all the ideas, but I'm gonna have to like save some ideas for next. Um, you know, next year or something. Hmm. See, this is an old man, but he doesn't really look that old. But I mean, I guess because it's medieval times, old, quote unquote old, is like in your 30s or 40s. So I would be an, I would be an elder coming up almost. <laughs> no. Okay, so we can give him like gray hair. I don't, what is this hairstyle? Yeah, I just don't know. I think maybe I want the, maybe I just want to make it a witch, you know? Because I could make a wizard, but <laughs> I actually, I think maybe the, I think maybe a female would be better. Oops. Um, yeah, you know what? Let's make, let's make it a witch. Okay, like we want it lower voice. Yeah, I think that sounds good. Okay, and of course, because I didn't really plan to do this, I just thought of it and I was like, oh yeah, that would be a good thing to do today because I had, I had too many things. Basically, I was working on my Planet Coaster speed build because I really need to do that. I haven't posted out that in like a couple weeks and I was like, oh, uh, this is not gonna get done today. <sighs> uh, what am I doing here? Okay, so she's all old and wrinkly that we want. We got the voice. I'm gonna have to think on the name. I don't know, we'll, we'll come back to the name. Here we go. We could make her heavy. Oh my goodness. You know what? I think I might wanna do that. What's the difference here? Hmm. You know what, I'm gonna make her big. <laughs> um, she reminds me, she gives me this Ursula vibe now. Okay, let's give her her traits. There's adventure, chivalrous, creative cook, uh, dedicated, earthy, um, eloquent, evil. Let's make her evil. Excitable, friendly, fun-loving, good, greedy, haggler, hopeful orphan, jokester, Loves family, scholarly, solitary, unkempt, vain, well ate my parents. Okay. So I think I'm gonna want solitary 
um, because self-sufficient and prefer to do things alone, shy around people. Yeah, that sounds like a witch. So even I love how evil isn't one of these fatal flaws. <laughs> it's just funny. Uh, they take great delight in misfortune of others and prefer to learn, lead a life as far away from goodness as possible. Oh my goodness. Okay, perfect. Those are good for a witch character. And we have bloodthirsty, competitive gambler, coward, cruel, cursed, uh, to flick the sims. Things just never seem to go their way. Mm, that might not be good for a... Uh... Oh, I mean, she is pretty big lady. Maybe she would be a glutton. Not a fool, not a drunk. But the curse might not help. Uh, with what we have to do with the wizard. Insecure, mm, insomniac, misanthrope, what does that mean? Contempt toward fellow sims, won't hesitate to show it. They really don't get along well with others, so keep your distance. That might work too. Punny, uncouth, weak constitution. So either a misanthrope or glutton. Um, Let's see. I feel like a lot of wizards have like that, you know. So I feel like these two combined kind of, you know, this makes more sense. I could give her the glutton trait, but that would just be harder to play. And I feel like this just, this just all makes more sense personality wise for what like a witch would be. So let's see what kind of uh, outfits then we have. Hmm, I don't like the headpiece, but that's, okay, there we go. <laughs> Just a plain one. Yeah, that's a thing about the woman. Um, I really wish they had like a witch hat or something. They don't have hats, which I, f is like, honestly, I'm pretty disappointed. Ooh, we give her like this braid. Yeah, that looks pretty witchy. Um, yeah, anyway, uh, how are you guys doing? I hope that uh, you had a very um, spooky and awesome weekend. Oh, okay, so we've got this braid as well. That's kind of fancier almost. She looks too good now. I like this braid, no, I like this one. It, like, it gives her like face this kind of funny shape, but yeah. Um, let's see, what can we choose for eye color? Okay, and we can change her. Yeah, we can like give her like gruffer eyes. There, ooh, chilling. She's like constantly glaring at you. Or that one, hmm. I don't know, what do you guys think? One, two, three. I don't know, I kind of like the one where she's like glary looking. Um, hmm. Yeah, I like that face shape. Okay, and we did the eyes. I don't, should we do gray eyes as well? Kind of a gray, gray thing. That could be cool. Or we could do like icy blue eyes. Um, ooh, there we go. That's kind of cool because it's kind of like gray. It's like her hair and her eye color match. Okay, and then what about do we like the nose? Yeah, actually let's do the profile. I like the little swoop. Um, no, way too wide. Put it back where it was. Rotate. Yeah, oh my goodness. <sighs> Height. Okay, so we want it as low as we can. Length. Oh yeah, maybe we want it to look very, yeah, very witchy. I think that's good. And, um, okay, interesting. So again, I'm, I'm definitely making like a very stereotypical witch, so don't, 
<laughs> Please don't like be offended, especially, you know, I'm not saying that anyone who looks like this is automatically a bad person or like a witch or something. I'm just making kind of a stereotypical witch character. Okay, there we go. I like that one because she looks like it's the most frowny. All right, Leah, look at that death stare. Okay, she looks, that looks pretty good. Ooh, and so this is that like magic. She's got like her spell book there. She's got like, I don't know, potions or things for her like magic beans. All right, so I think this is like the only real outfit. Um, or there's that, but that's like way too fancy. Yeah, I liked actually what it was. Ooh, she looks like the Reaper in that. <laughs> Um, okay, so yeah, I didn't realize that this is gonna be pretty much what we have her in. Let's see if we want to change colors at all. Like, I kind of like the way this these colors look, but I'm pretty sure this is like the sash, yeah. So maybe we should do like more of a deep midnight blue on that. Looks pretty cool. I do like the purple, like. Um, it's a little too, a little too saturated. It's not bad. Oh, you know what? Actually darker seems to be better. Um, this looks so gross. I'm not going to lie. Um, let's see if we can try to match it to this bag she has. Like what color is that? Well, not that. <clears throat> um, wish I could get it to be, like I wish I could just like, you know, um, tool dropper that or whatever. Let's, let's go from here. Uh, okay. Oh, that's pretty close. That's getting closer. Um, it's a little less brown. Like it's a little, I don't know. Brown's a really hard color to do this with. Like that's greener, that's redder. Man, this is harder than I thought. Oh, you know what? Maybe it's just like this more, yeah, it's like less saturated. Oh, there we go, perfect match, okay. And then the only other color we didn't change was like this top garment. I kind of like it. But let's see what they're, oh, you know what? Black looks, black looks like the most um, kind of believable there. I don't know, I like that. I like that better than what we had. Can I save that? Save that as custom, yeah. So let's just, let's just compare real fast. Oh, where did it go? Where did it go? Where did it go? Okay, right here. So that's what we had before. Yeah, definitely a lot like lighter. This is like, ooh, don't mess with this chick. Should get ya, should get ya for sure. Oh, can we do something with the hair too? Is there a way to like, yeah, change this uh, hairband too. I wanna match it to like, and make it darker. There you go. Or honestly, like what's that blue sash? Like this midnight blue sash color? Just bear with me. Let me just, let me just see. This midnight blue color, I can actually take the hex key. It's really, this is really cool, watch. I copy this color. Oh wait, wrong one. This color. I can copy this and then I can apply it to her hair. And I could like ultra customize her, like all her highlights and whatever. I don't really want to do that. I don't really care that much. But just for the sake of doing it. Oh, darn it. What? Here I am bragging about how I can do this. I thought I could. Apparently, I can't. Okay, well, whatever. <laughs> Here I am going, oh yeah, this is something you can do. You know what? I'm just going to eyeball it then. That looks really close. All right, oh, here we go. What am I saying? Here's a hat, okay. Well, you know what? 
And then I think we're going to have to go with this hat. We have to do a witch hat. Have to do a witch hat. Okay. Um, now let me change this here. Oh, no, I don't like that at all. <laughs> nope. <laughs> um, but this, this band. So we can make it like, here we go. Okay, there we go. So it's like she had the same fabric from this and then she put it up there. Okay, and then um, I'm gonna get, can I, okay. <laughs> Bear with me, folks. Bear with me. Okay, here we go. It's 36, 34, 39. That's actually pretty easy to remember. 36, 34, 39. 36, 34, 39. 36, 34, 39. There we go. So it's like the same color. Oh my gosh, look at that. She looks so spooky, you guys. She looks good. Yeah, that's definitely better than the braid. I mean, I wish you could have it where it was the braid and the hat, but you know, since you can't, it's good enough. Oh man, look, she can have like really bushy eyebrows. Oh. Oh my gosh, I'm so tempted. Okay, you know what? I've got to do it. I've got to do it now. There we go. And we'll make them like darker than her regular hair color. Um, okay. Oh, I'm trying to do her hair color now. This one. So this thing. So I have no idea what this is now because it's not on here. I don't know. Whatever. Oops. Okay, just checking that this actually works. So we can do like darker gray. And this could be like lighter. Yeah, so it's like highlighted. Yeah, I think that works. So like her eyebrows still make sense. Like they don't look completely out of place. And now her eyes are like, let's just see, let's just see. Gosh, how long am I taking doing this? Okay, not too bad. I'm just like checking my time because, um, can I make them even lighter? Ooh, that's piercing. There we go. That's what I want. I want piercing eyes. Lovely. Okay. We got our hair. We got our looks. We got our clothing. Yeah, I think we're almost done here. Uh, I just need a name. Who, like, how, what should I name this chick? Um, should I just straight up name her Ursula? <laughs> um, I mean, I think that's a little on the nose. <sighs> what, sh hmm. I don't know. I, I'm really bad at this, you guys. I should have picked a name already. But Miranda sounds like kind of a witchy name. Um, I love doing like last names that like mean something too. So like we could do Cauldron, which is Brew. Um, let's see. What is... Plasma fruits. Uh, what was that other? Oh man, I wish I had my phone on me. Oh, I do. I can look something up. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Real fast. Um. Um. I could do like Wolfsbane. Wolfsbane. Let's just. I'm just gonna double check how to spell it. Um. Is it two words? Wolfsbane. Yeah, it's not, but um, I like Wolf Spain as the last name. Wolf's Bane, B A N. Wolf Spain. I think that's how it's spelled. Yeah. 
Uh, let's see. It says the effects seen on Teen Wolf are fictional. Inhaling or ingesting wolf's bane in the real world could kill you. Yeah, that's a pretty accurate um, <laughs> description then. I like Miranda because <laughs> no offense to Miranda Cosgrove, but uh, she always seemed pretty... Uh, <laughs> Like on that Drake and Josh show, she always seemed a little conniving, so that's what we're gonna go with. Let me just check how to spell her name too, because I obviously, I'm really bad at like spelling names. No, that's how you spell Miranda. M-I-R-A-N-D-A. -A. Miranda Wolfsbane. Yes. Yes, honey. Okay. That looks awesome. I'm going to actually save that sim then. Miranda Wolfsbane. Okay, and then get my little cursor out of the way because I do want to like quickly snap a little snapshot here. Um, how do I do that again? Oh yeah. I'm like, what am I even doing with my life? Okay, there we go. Yeah, but this is Miranda. Miraz Miranda Wolfsbane. She is a witch and we will play with her soon enough but let me just accept her yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed this really quick little sims medieval part um we can go actually go into the tower and also see kind of what's here oh look there she is that's kind of cool Ooh, spooky she's all witchy yeah so the tower is already equipped with like all the things that we'll need i mean i don't think she needs a bed hopefully I really am not that sure. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to see, peek, take a little peek in here. I'm not gonna actually do anything with her. I just wanted to look in there. But yeah, um, I hope you guys like this part. Um, and um, yeah. <laughs> so we will play with her soon enough. But until next time, I hope you guys are having a wonderful October. And happy Halloween if you don't watch my other videos. I do I do encourage you to watch my vampire series because I'm doing a 10 part mini series. That's what I was saying when I was like, I only have, you know, like this month to do my little vampires mini series. So I'm having a lot of fun with that. I really encourage you guys to go check that out that I can put in the link in the description. But yeah. Until next time, I hope you guys have a lovely day.